all right, let's get to this all-star game. This all-star game. First of all, a couple things I really liked, really, really liked in the intro to the all-star game. Uh, I really liked that whole bit, that conversation between David Letterman and Reggie Miller. Uh, some great sound bites there. I love that they were walking around the court with the pictures and looking at these iconic moments together. I love the tribute to Indiana, right? Uh, I, I loved Babyface's uh, anthem performance. I loved the fact that Reggie and Larry and Oscar got up there in front of the crowd uh, to get the night started. Uh, just fantastic. Uh, three legends, all with these deep, strong ties to Indiana. Why can't we start anything on time in the NBA? Why can't we? Why can't we? I'm going to sound like an old person here, but if if it says eight o'clock, I don't want it. I don't want it to tip off at eight forty two. All right. If I've already told my kids they can watch the first quarter, it's a Sunday night. Guess what? They've stayed up late like four straight nights because nothing starts on time in the NBA, and it's driving me crazy. And I work for a broadcast partner. Can we please just start things on time in the NBA? It's out of control. It's absolutely out of control. All right, on to the game. Everybody talks about NBA defenders. They don't play defense. That's why everybody scores a lot. No, this is not playing defense. This was 23 guys. I'll, I'll say 23 and a half. 23 and a half guys just not trying. And we've seen this year after year after year. And at no point tonight, at no point, did anyone outside of Kevin Durant actually try on defense? I get there were some deflections and some blocks and all that. I get it. I get it. I, I, I can watch basketball and, and see what effort is. And little to none. So, again, I don't know that there's a fix. We talked about this for days, days, weeks even, after last year's All-Star event. And I... I'm not an all-star. I was never an all-star. I, I don't know what it's like for those guys. I do know there's a lot of obligations throughout the weekend. Some of them are doing, uh, you know, things on Friday night. Some of them are doing things on Saturday night uh, for the league, right? Participating in the three-point contest, participating in the dunk contest like Jalen Brown. I don't know that they all, maybe they all get a, get together in the, in the hallway before the game and say, look, guys, uh, we're going to gauge it at about 60% effort tonight. All right. That's what we're going for. I don't know. I don't know, but do I really want to watch the all-star game? Man, I've been, I've been advocate for today, today's NBA. We got to figure out this. We got to figure out this. I, I don't, it's, we got to figure it out. We got to figure it out. Some good things, some good things. Number one, thank God. They went back to East West and thank God they brought, brought back the actual all-star jerseys. I, I, I love the warmups, although, you know, depending on uh, button all the way up, no buttons at all, very different looking fits for different players. Uh, I love the warmups. It felt like a real nod to like grassroots Indiana basketball or something. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. The jerseys were fire though. They were absolute fire. I love when they do, the all-star jerseys instead of, you know, guys wearing their own white uh, Celtics jersey or their their white Mavs jersey, whatever. Uh, their, their, you know, purple Lakers jersey, whatever it may be. I, I, I liked the jerseys a lot. Loved that. Loved Tyrese Halliburton's start. I absolutely loved his start. He had, uh, I think, a, a, a level of burden like all all-stars do uh, when they are in the host city. And they're playing for their home crowd, and they're representing the host organization. It was a burden. Participated in a lot of stuff. You know, it was interesting. I'm watching the uh, skills competition with my in-laws. They barely watch basketball. They, they watched the NBA when I played, and they kept saying, "Like Tyrese Halliburton is always smiling. He's always smiling. The way he came out and started the game tonight. Like he he wanted the MVP." He wanted the MVP. And I love that. I love that. He's a great ambassador. Tyrese Halliburton is a great ambassador for the game of basketball. He's a great ambassador for the Indiana Pacers. He's a great ambassador for the state of Indiana, the city of Indianapolis, all that stuff. 
He's just a great ambassador for the game. And I love that. A couple of lowlights for me from the game. Uh, and they come from uh, a dear friend and uh, someone that I have great respect for, who I think is an ultimate competitor and simply one of the best basketball players in the world. Um, I could not stop laughing when Luka Doncic uh, tried to get a two-for-one uh, from three-quarter court and heaved it off the glass with 34 seconds. It was it, it, Technically, it was a two-for-one. I know what he was doing. Uh, just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, even more ridiculous uh, than his dunk attempt, throwing it off the glass and getting stuffed by the rim. Uh, everybody has bad days. Uh, you know, not, not, a, not a great day for Luca. Uh, overall though, I, I, I wanted, I want to take an overall look at this weekend and, and say this, um, we think about these moments, whether it is the celebrity game, whether it is, uh, the rising stars, uh, versus G league or the, uh, the dunk contest skills competition, three point contest, all-star game, all this stuff it's in its totality. Are you moving the game forward? I think that's the question. Did this weekend move the game forward? And I, I think there's enough positives. I really do. I think there's enough positives. Uh, the Steph Sabrina matchup uh, for 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 the three point contest with the money going to charity. Uh, Damian Lillard winning his second straight three point contest. Uh, a G League guy, Mac McClung, winning his second straight dunk contest. Um, the All Star game. Yeah, maybe maybe not so much. But overall, I thought the weekend moved it forward, and I particularly liked all of the the references and the sort of nods to the roots of Indiana basketball. And, and again, that's why I go back to say, you know, my my State Farm good neighbor for this weekend was Tyrese Halberton for just being a great ambassador. And that's not just because we had him on the show. That's not good. Uh, I want to thank you guys as always for hopping on with us for our YouTube live. Again, this has been our all-star weekend reaction presented by state farm. Uh, appreciate you guys.